Total War Warhammer 3 is the latest entry in the High Fantasy strategy series. Build, support, and lead your forces into the realm of chaos. But if you're unsure whether you want to command demons or conquer them, here's a look at every playable faction in Total War Warhammer 3. Scarbrand leads the Legions of Khorne, and he only cares about inflicting carnage and slaughtering enemies to gain the unique resource, Skulls. Raising settlements leads to the raising of more Khorn forces, and is one of the many ways to gain extra movement range for Scarbrand, so he can continue his destructive rampage. On the battlefield, Khorne is a hyper-aggressive army which boasts heavy armor and employs some of the most brutal demons of the Chaos Realms. Most units have Frenzy, Hellblade, and other damage-boosting abilities to support the simple but effective playstyle of charge forward and smash everything. Khorne also hates magic, so this faction is ideal for those who enjoy getting stuck into the melee. Kugarth Plaguefather commands the Poxmakers of Nurgle, aiming to spread decay and pestilence across the land. Despite the love of producing and spreading disease, the Nurgle faction is as much about life as it is death, with building chains that constantly cycle through tiers, allowing you to recruit more powerful units earlier. In battle, Nurgle armies are slow, but incredibly tough. They win by forcing enemies into a war of attrition. Thanks to high HP and defense-boosting abilities, Nurgle armies don't hit hard or fast, they simply die slower than their enemies. Nakari leads the forces of Slanesh. He has powers of seduction and persuasion that allow him to gather devotees to his cause, which can be used to summon disciple armies to aid Slaneshi plans. Seduction powers also allow Nakari to seduce enemy units to fight for him. Slanesh armies are the true embodiment of a glass cannon. They can deliver massive amounts of damage, but their minimal armor leaves them vulnerable and lacking endurance. They lack any ranged units, but with fast infantry, cavalry, and chariots, they excel at flanking maneuvers, especially the devastating flanker ability, which doubles the charge bonus from the back and sides. Kairos Fateweaver rules the armies of Zinch. His changing of the ways power allows him to control and confuse enemies, foreseeing their plans, stealing their settlements, and ruining their alliances, among other tricks. The Zinch faction also has superior control over magic, and can manipulate the winds of magic to their own gain. When it comes to battle, Zinchian armies are masters of the skies as well as magic. With plenty of magic recharge abilities, Kairos and his allies can unleash a barrage of magic spells, either to support their troops or annihilate the enemy. In the sky, Zinch armies typically have superiority. This increased mobility pairs well with their rechargeable barrier, a small magic shield that protects them from damage. While the infantry harass and distract with ranged attacks, powerful mobile units can pick the enemy apart. Demons of Chaos, led by your very own Frankenstein Demon Prince creation, seek to gain the favor of the four Chaos Gods. This is primarily achieved through battles and capturing settlements, and grants access to more assets of that faction, such as new body parts for your customized prince that can bring strong buffs and abilities, as well as access to all the demon units from other factions. Access to all the demons makes for one incredibly terrifying army. Playing as the Demons of Chaos allows players to take aspects from other factions and combine them into utterly savage army compositions. Combine the brutal Khorne front lines with the tanky staying power and healing of Nurgle units. Add in the fast flanking power of Slanesh with the missile and air superiority of Zinch, and you've got a formidable force. Grand Cafe boasts an excellent trade economy and caravans that venture out to gain extra income. This wealth is necessary to aid the Great Bastion, the gigantuan wall that holds out the unyielding Chaos forces and protects the lands of Cathay. Siblings Miao Ying and Zhao Ming must work together to keep the Bastion standing at all costs. Cathay factions must also preserve the balance in Yin and Yang to truly harmonize the nation. Cathay has a strong defensive playstyle, requiring well-organized formations to make good use of battle harmony, which buffs missile and melee units when in close proximity to one another. With crossbows, gunners, cannons, and rockets, Cathay has a robust arsenal that can fire from behind their defensive and melee infantry. The Dragon Lords of Cathay fight with formidable physical power and devastating magic capabilities. 
Legendary Lords Katarin and Kostaltin must gather supporters to claim leadership and unite Kislev as one. Both can use the unique resource of devotion to invoke the Motherland, an ability that calls on the gods to support in times of need. In battle, Kislev are tough and versatile. Their ranks include hybrid infantry, which comes with both melee and ranged damage capabilities, strong cavalry, and bear cavalry units. The By Our Blood ability strengthens their resolve so they can continue fighting. Ice Witches use magic to slow down foes, affording more time for ranged damage and cavalry flanking. Led by Greaser's Gold Tooth, Ogres are fixated on meat and money. They plunder faraway lands for spoils and eat everything that gets in their way. Meat is required to sustain the large appetite of their forces and can be used to gain the favor of their deity, the Great Moor. They settle camps wherever they please, providing access to the best buildings and units of the kingdom. As mercenaries, they can also take contracts for financial and diplomatic gain. Ogres are naturally brutish and incredibly hard-hitting. They fight alongside the lowly Noblar infantry and make use of powerful war beasts, the Mornfang, Rhinox, and Stonehorn, to ride into battle. But ogres are smarter than just smashing things with clubs. They have an array of ranged options, with ogre pistols, lead belcher cannons, and long-range artillery with the powerful Iron Blaster cannon and the Scrap Launcher catapult. Choose your faction and lead them into the Realm of Chaos in Total War Warhammer 3, out now on PC and PC Game Pass. For more on Total War, stick with IGN.